you what's up you guys my name is amber welcome to my channel and today we are going to be doing a pr unboxing for some goodies from monster babe cosmetics I am incredibly thrilled to have the chance to be working with Monster Babe. They are a smaller up and coming female run makeup business that is mostly horror themed. And for anybody who might not know, I am actually a horror fanatic, literally wearing a Scream t-shirt right now. This is a beauty based makeup brand, but the brand has actually been started by a special effects makeup artist. So I am really, really excited to see what they come out with. They have already come out with some amazing products. They were kind enough to send me a little bag of goodies from their shop for me to showcase to you guys today. Without too much further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. First, we will go ahead and pull out what looks like some more promotional type stuff. Amber, I absolutely love your YouTube videos. Here are a few of Monster Babe items for you to try. Hope you love them. Can't wait to see your looks. Stay spooky, Mary. And then it does give me a little list of what items are included. It says like all of the names of the products because I don't think the names are actually printed on the products themselves, which isn't entirely uncommon for smaller brands. And then a little business card. If anybody wants to check out their stuff, I will have all of their socials linked down below as well. Their uh, catchphrase is makeup inspired by horror and everything creepy, which is 100% vibes. We will go ahead and take a look at all of the spooky items. First, we have some cute little lollipops. And I do believe these actually come in some of the orders, or at least when I was getting this PR package they did. From what I've seen on Instagram, the owner likes to throw in a bunch of little goodies for orders. So like around Halloween time, they were giving out these uh, lollipops and stuff. They have done like vintage horror movie trading cards. One of the perks of supporting small businesses is you actually are dealing with individuals who care about the people who are ordering from their shop. So as for the products I got, I got a couple of pairs of fake lashes. I believe there is an eyeliner in here as well as a several shades of lipstick. The brand is cruelty free. However, I do have to wonder because on the lashes themselves, which we will look at in just a second, uh, the packaging says cruelty free and mink, and I'm not entirely sure how those two can correspond. But since receiving this PR package, the company has actually started doing completely vegan lashes, if I'm not mistaken. So those are options that you can go for as well. I don't know if you can tell with this lighting, but like, can you see the sparkle? Honestly, I'm one of those people who almost prefers the packaging more than the actual product itself. <laughs> Oops. But we have this set of lashes and we will slide those out for a closer look. These are in the style Samara and that's Samara from The Ring. And then we have this guy, which is in additional little packaging. Same general packaging. This is in the style Phantom. This one has more varied lash lengths than Samara does. And I want to say Samara might be a little bit fuller. So like Phantom is probably going to be the more wearable option of the two, or at least like less dramatic. Like these definitely reminds me of like baby doll lashes almost, whereas Phantom looks like it would probably read a little bit more natural. Next up, we have the black liquid pen liner. Very simplistic, minimal. And then you look, and it seems like it is a pretty standard liquid liner. It actually applies really, really well. It seems like it's like definitely not dried out at all, which I feel like I tend to get like, cause I'm definitely not exactly a liner person, but whenever I do purchase them, they're always a product that tends to be more dried out. And this one like feels just so fresh and liquid that I'm honestly impressed, especially cause it's been a bit of a hot minute since I received the PR package. Cause I got really behind on scheduling. An incredibly black colored. I'm actually really, really excited to try that out on the eyes. And then we have a whole slew of 
liquid lippies to try. Again, the packaging, very, very similar to the liner, but in black and white instead of a black and red palette. This is number 19, which is the color Crimson. Ooh, okay. So this guy is more of a purple shade, but a very, very warm toned purple. So we will go ahead and swatch that. That is a beautiful color. Next, we have up number 23, which is the shade Malia. I am not entirely sure if this is intended to be a specific reference to a specific movie. Ooh, and this little guy looks like it's just a straight up black. Gotta love a good black liquid lip. It's pretty much most of what I have been wearing lately if I wear one. Ooh, and she goes on opaque. Oh wow, a very, very dark true black. I don't think I have any that are quite that color and definitely not like the one coat opaque. Um, obviously you have to see how it works on your lips, but I'm incredibly impressed by that swatch. Again, next up we have number 25, which is the shade They Live. Ooh, hello blue. That is a beautiful shade of blue. And that is what it looks like on incredibly vibrant and again super super opaque like I'm really inspired because like I mean the crimson color wasn't entirely opaque but the black and the blue normally when like the more pigmented the color is the more you have to apply it in order to get it opaque so the fact that these have been like one swipes and you're good is stupid impressive I'm not surprised especially because like with a background of special effects. I'm sure that's probably something that's more important to the owner because like, oh my God, it is so hard to get stuff opaque with special effects makeup. Let me tell ya. Next up is number 39, which is their shade Mirage. Again, I'm not entirely sure if this is a specific movie reference or not. Ooh, but this guy looks like a nice nude shade not too light because I'm I'm very particular about my nude shades mostly in the fact that like if it's too light it just does not look good on me but that is what that shade looks like very very pretty it looks nudish but like a darker nude darker than I was expecting coming out of the package but a very very pretty shade and then last but not least we have number 38 which is the shade rosemary most likely in reference to the movie rosemary's baby Ooh, another shade kind of similar to the crimson shade with that like purple this one might be slightly more pink toned oh yeah okay this one is definitely a bit lighter whereas like crimson is more of a darker muted tone this is more of just like a straight vibrant but very very similar I swatched that one right here over the eyeliner and I don't think the camera is doing it justice with how different the two colors look and quite how pink that rosemary is but we do have all of those guys very very beautiful shades to show these guys in action I do think I am going to throw on the eyeliner one of the pairs of lashes and one of the lipstick shades to get a full look going with the monster babe cosmetics now it's just choosing a particular shade Okay, hello pigment. I think that that turned out to be a very, very nice color. That applied really, really easily. Like, I must say it, Jeffree Star wishes she applied that well. And like, not that we're supposed to support Jeffree Star Cosmetics anymore, but back in the day, I did definitely have a few of their liquid lippies. And, uh, she wishes. 
One difference that I've noted between more mainstream or larger brands versus indie brands is that in general indie brands are so much more generous with the amount of product that they give you because like these tubes are like full to the brim and they're not dried out at all which like I said it's been a hot minute since I received this PR package so they have definitely been sitting for a little while so had they been a little bit dried out I wouldn't have been uh, surprised by it especially because like again to go with the JSC comparison I, I have beef with Jeffree Star Cosmetics a little bit because the first liquid lippy that I had bought from them like at the very beginning of the brand was like fantastic great quality and then like a couple months after that they had had a warehouse sale um, where I bought like three or four different shades and all of them were like practically dried out and I only got a couple of uses out of each one. So I was like, really? Like this is what a major brand is like putting out? Like barely any product in their containers and stuff like that. And like JSC is definitely not the only company that I've had that experience with. Like I feel like the larger the brand gets and like the longer they've been a larger brand, the worse their quality gets. So that is one reason why I am incredibly... Uh, excited about working with different indie brands is because generally they just actually care about the people buying their products more and they care about more about the quality of their products because they need to have higher quality stuff in order to be successful and pay the bills and shit. So I kind of prefer purchasing from indie these days. This is no exception. The amount of product and the fact that they weren't dried out and the fact like as a consumer, I should not be excited when a product I receive is not already dried out and ruined, but yet here we are. Next up, I am going to attempt to apply the liner. Your girl is not very good at liner, so we'll see how badly that goes. But you kind of have to apply a little bit of liner before putting on falsies because uh, you don't want to see the line between your actual lashes and the falsies. And maybe if you're really good at applying fail slashes, you don't have that line so much. But hi, hello, my name's Amber and I'm terrible at doing makeup even though I have a partially makeup dedicated YouTube channel. Yes, it is a paradox. No, I'm not changing it. <laughs> Alright. Application 100% leaves something to be desired. But, uh, that cut, like... Normally I feel like when I wear eyeliner on camera it doesn't make that much of a difference and like hi hello that color payoff Fuck. I wish I knew how to use it better and that I hadn't closed my eye before it smudged but it's fine it was already not a great application on my end it is a very fair it's a fine tip, but not like too fine. Like it's definitely fine enough to get definition without being too fine to where it's like a struggle to fill it in. I, uh, I have such a hard time because like sometimes I can apply and like very, very rarely, I can apply liner really, really well to where it like just works perfectly. But then there are some times where it's just like, did you let a child do your makeup? And I feel like maybe perhaps it looks okay from far away. Up close, like I would not want anybody looking at me super up close. But again, I can remain far away because that fucking color pigment so defined. Like I understand why some people are into liner because it can completely change the way your look looks. But too, like I feel like my eyes are just so much more defined now. Like, that's crazy. And then last, but certainly not least, I am going to apply one of the pairs of lashes. Oh my god, don't tell me I'm out of lash glue. Alright, well I was gonna show you guys how the lashes looked and then I realized that I am literally out of lash glue. Sorry about that. But with all of that being said, those were some of the products that are available from Monster Babe Cosmetics. I will have all of the Monster Babe Cosmetics links down below and I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to Mary and Monster Babe for sending over this PR package. It is absolutely lovely and it has been fantastic doing this unboxing for you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had a blast hanging out with y'all.